BYD is a crypto exchange on desktop and mobile where you can spot trade, futures trade, use leverage tokens and copy the trades of top trade. There's hundreds of crypto available on their spot exchange as well as a free test account so you can practice futures trading without getting wrecked. BYD Fi. Hello everybody, welcome back. I'm going to have to make this a, a quick video because my chest is on fire. Um, but I suppose there's not a great deal that needs to be said. At the moment, Bitcoin's looking really good as are most altcoins uh, as they follow Bitcoin. Some altcoins are better than Bitcoin, but most are just fall, uh, following in the, in the trail of Bitcoin's move. So yesterday, and actually every single day over the last few days, it's the 50, sorry, the 200 exponential has been our main problem. Bang, 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 and then this morning, whoo, straight out above it, above the 10, above the 200 simple, and also this horizontal, which is 59,000. So the next major move for this is going to be... Taking us to around 60,004 or 500, which is also these horizontals over here. Hello. So, <clears throat> that is your next major area of resistance, without having to draw another trend line in there. That corresponds to all these candle bodies. It is exactly where the Bollinger Band itself is, the center range, and uh, the 21 exponential. So that is the next destination, um, if, we, uh, if, we, if we continue with this move. And again, it's only small moves, isn't it, for Bitcoin? Let's face it, I mean, from this wick up to this wick right now is 11.5%. So, I mean, it, it feels like a lot, but it's not at all. It's just it's, it's relatively small. Um, the theory of the alt bounce, of the alt run, uh, not alt season, I should say, um, is becoming more and more apparent. Uh, we see something like this happening on VeChain, and VeChain is almost to hit its death cross retest, which would bring it to a 35.5% move, really, from the bottom to the top. Now, we were talking on the Patreon last night, and if you want to join that, there's links in the description below, um, that the, we should not change the goalpost for what altcoins are looking to do. We've said this since the downtrend started. It said if you get into altcoins, unless it's for building a portfolio, any altcoin bounce could be decent. And I suppose we have been waiting for one that's going to take us, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50 percent, and will likely just be a death cross retest. So it's bearish. Uh, and so this is VeChain looking up to the 200 uh, simple and exponential on the four hour to begin with. Uh, 2.72 cents and obviously if we were to extend that to a daily we're looking for 3.2 3.3 cents death cross retest that's what it is that's all it is um same thing for anything that we see over here uh shib if you see that um 1846 on the four hourly on the daily there is no death cross which makes it seem a little more interesting uh, with the relatively good prospect that if you were to reclaim this area like bitcoin's doing at the moment because that doesn't have a death cross then it could power on through it's just a theory it's, it's all very early days obviously xrp death crossed about two and a half centuries ago um and the uh you know the, the if that were to happen on the on the daily that would be 53 and on the four hourly it would be 47.5. So, look, if you're going to get these moves on altcoins, which I think we are, I mean, you know, I assumed we would, and we currently are, and we're seeing them now, don't change the goalpost. If you're in a trade, re think realistically. Right? Is it a trade or is it a hodl? There's two different strategies. I've got both, and um, the hodls stay. You know, they don't care about hitting 200 exponentials on four hourlies. They don't care about that at all. It's a hodl. It's not a trade. But if it's a trade and you're coming up to a major resistance, um, especially one that was discussed prior to entering into the trade, one that was talked about as the exit point for the trade, <clears throat> when you come up to that exit point, you really got to think about exiting. Okay. So I'll leave it with you there. There's not much more to say. I need to nurse my body it's wrecked yeah it's, it's way more wrecked than the crypto market yeah, that's, that's the last time i'm going camping i don't know what i've got mad cow disease or bird flu or something but it's not right it's not normal all right so i'm gonna leave with you there long story short though the, as i've been saying since monday the pump shall continue it looks like it wants to continue let it continue but rec recognize the resistances especially for altcoins Death cross retests. That's all we're looking for. Death cross retests. And they can be pretty nasty. Bitcoin, 
hit its last death cross retest all the way over here at $67,000, which brought it all the way down to 53. So look, I mean, just recognize it for what it is. Respect the death cross. Don't get cheeky with the death cross. You know, look at VeChain. Respect the death cross. Hit the death cross. Chapow, all the way down. Yeah, it lost 45%. Since that death cross retest. No, 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 just I'm just saying. Anyway, I'm gonna leave with you there. Nothing much more to say. See you on the Patreon, hopefully. Otherwise, take it easy. Have a nice day.